Today I am here to do a full in-depth review and playtime video using the brand new Kylie Cosmetic Summer Collection. Ooh. Is, I don't know why I thought this palette was huge. I think the banana box made me think it was huge, but then I'm like, well, I guess it's not like huge. There is enough space for eyeshadow names, but they're not here, they're on the back. So far, at least the hand swatches I'm not super happy with. When you look at it, it looks shimmery at first, but. This one too, it's hard to see on camera right now. Lots of kickback in the pan. This is like a certified mess right now. Like this mess has gone double platinum. Mm. Yikes. This needs to be addressed. Do you see? Do you see that? Do you see all that fallout in the pan? Sadly, this pretty much happens with every shade in the palette. First, I was hoping for the best. Like I wanted a bomb popping look like these promo picks, okay? With all the affordable options out there, like look at this. So I'm taking an R39 brush and I'm gonna blend it back and forth, back and forth. I would use different colors, but this palette is pretty much warm tones only. So don't come for me come for the brand. <laughs> it almost felt a little lackluster. It also creates a lot of fallout on my skin. Guys, so you guys can get an idea. I just don't know why I would pay $45 for a product that I do not really like when I could get a $12 product that does the exact same thing. If not, sometimes even better. It kind of looks a little, you know, a little, little lackluster. It just made me sad and unhappy. If you're looking for that as a color on your eyes, it's not happening. It's just, I don't see a purpose for it. So I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner with something else real quick. Palette retails for $44, and I feel like for the color range that you're getting, you probably, with all the launches lately, you probably have it in your collection already. 